Oh, good morning guys. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, I'm just uh, getting ready to head out here on the line and check some traps and see what we come up with. Um, hopefully everybody's doing well. Uh, yeah, things have been a little bit, a little bit slow, but uh, Lord willing we'll have some critters today. So, well I guess with that being said we're going to pray and get on down the line. So, Dear Lord, thank you for all you do, your many blessings on us every day. Just continue to uh, strengthen those who are in need and just uh, guide and direct them. Uh, we thank you for this time of year, Christmas season, for your birth, uh, your son. And uh, thank you again for just loving us. Just continue to guide each of our lives. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Well, we're going to head on down the line to see if we got any critters. See you in a bit. Okay, guys. Um, I wanted to show you something here. Uh, I forget which issue it was. If it was last month's or... Um, this month in fur fishing game magazine a guy had an article in there it might even have been on the full before i don't remember um but anyways he had a um article in there and he talked about um cat toilets and i i was like what in the world is a cat toilet it's where they you know cats come through and they'll visit that area and crap there and you know, I would do their business there, and I was like, man, I wonder, I wonder what one even looks like, um, and, uh, I was out here the other day, and I found this cat toilet, so I'm going to show you here what this is, um, come around, these here are cat droppings, right there. See how they're uh, segmented? Like, those are cat droppings. And you'll find bones in them too. Here's another, an older pile right there. And there was some, somewhere in here somewhere, there was a little piece, an old piece. Over here, uh, where did I see it? Anyway, over in here was another old piece. Um, and he said that cats will come back and visit that spot. And especially during the rut, um, the cats will come through and visit that spot. So I put a big dirt hole right there and with lots of eye appeal. And it's right here. Um, so... I hope I put that at the right place and I didn't uh, screw something up that I'm too close to the toilet. Um, I don't know. Uh, I've never, like I said, I've never seen one before. So this is kind of cool. Um, and I also put a set in right in here. Right, there's like a trail goes through there. And I put um, a set in there, just a little bit of lure, not much, just a flat set basically but there's this real thick draw that comes down through this road comes in through and it goes funnels on down through I have a CD hanging there um, so I just thought I'd share this with you and um, I'm sorry I apologize for um, not remembering the individual's name uh, but the one fella commented on my video um, and he said about they have to use cages wherever they're at and they hang flagging right out over top of their, uh, their sets. So I just wanted to say thank you for the, um, the tip there and uh, I appreciate that and we're gonna, we're gonna try it. So yeah, anybody has anything to share and I'd appreciate the knowledge and I'll just keep sharing what I know and Hopefully we'll learn together, huh? So, uh, well, I got more traps to check, so I guess with that, we're going to head on down the line. Later. Alright, guys. So, 
Just got done setting two more sets, and I got one more trap to check. Um, so I guess this will be a good night, and because uh, it's going to be dark till I get down there to check that set. Um, but I just wanted to say uh, have a good evening, and um, God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.